Yo, what's up guys, it's I Shades, and we're back again with another video. This one, I'm releasing this one rushed because I just got this information a few hours ago. Uh, I was uh, pretty caught up these last three days and I would have loved to record this earlier, but I wasn't home and this just happened out of nowhere. And But I did see it coming and I was wondering when they were going to announce this i did send them a message on facebook and i told them my thoughts and they actually replied back which i appreciate that um i'm really excited for this to see what they're gonna do uh they're talking about a big change like something like massive and for and for for them to give this kind of a presentation it's because something big is coming. I doubt it's something small. Like, this is actually big. Like, I don't I have no idea if it's jetpacks. I do have a theory that it may be first person. That's not an inside source. That's not anybody telling me anything. That's literally... What? Excuse me. Bro, what are you talking about, man? That's literally me. Just my guess that they might go first person if far like 84 goes first person it's going to take over blood strike is done people will stop playing blood strike i know you guys are probably like wait what how can you say that if they fix a few things within the mechanics and they go first person man this game you have no idea the potential it has if it was a first person shooter the potential is limitless I can't say that's what they're going to do. I hope within that's what they go for. Because I'll be honest with you. I love first person shooters. And I'm not saying this because I love first person shooters. But I'm telling you, man, they've tried everything in the book. And nobody wants to come back because they don't bring jetpacks. Unless they finally announce tomorrow, August 31st at 7 a.m. That they're going to bring back jetpacks. Then, you know, it might bring some players back but i don't think it will bring everybody back because everybody's gonna be just burned out from the game right and they're gonna be like well it's too late we're playing other things we're playing blood strike we're playing black ops 6 that's coming out uh you know there's just a bunch of games coming out right now and I i'm gonna be honest with you the gaming scene is gonna be popping right now like in the end of this year like this is actually insane i'm actually stoked i'm excited for a lot of things that are coming i got a big video i'm working on that i may be dropping it on another channel i'll be creating so stay tuned for that let's take a look to see what farlight says man because I, I i'm just hyped i'm hyped right now like i i'm not I, I swear to god like wallahi i'm not getting paid to 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 say this i'm actually excited for farlight no farlight we are here to make things right to welcome creatures from other lands and arm you with new weapons in your hands to transform the continent day and night to unleash Farlight's mysterious might. Chance. Lazy Cats. Bring you a new expansion. Hi, Hi buddy. buddy! A new expansion. I doubt it's a new map. It can't be a new map. It can't. And I mean, if it is, that's great. But a new map is not going to bring the player base back. Like, look, look what's happening at Apex Legends with E-District. Like, they thought they were going to see big numbers, and it didn't happen. The game's been out for five years. The mechanics of the game are the same. Uh, though Apex movement's amazing, but people get bored of the same thing being so repetitive. Uh, I don't think it's... If it's a new map, that's cool. Not going to bring the player base back. There's too many things that that make this game feel slow and when i say slow it's like when you get shot at you feel like you're running in mud like in other games like for example in a first person shooter you could kind of live through that but in a third person shooter man where like everything's like covering your screen because your character's in a way and honestly the way that they they design third person in this game it's it's not the best man like sometimes you're standing by windows and like let's say you're you're moving backwards by a window like the camera will just zoom in right uh there's a lot of bugs within third person in this game that i've always mentioned and never you know i just never spoke about it like that but it's something that's always been in the game and it's always bothered me but you know those those are things you just get used to 
uh, especially me that I played competitive in Farley 84. Uh, but yeah, I don't think a new map is gonna bring the whole player by the whole player base back. I don't think that bringing jetpacks back at this point in Farlight is gonna bring the whole player ba base back. Like people will come back probably probably for like a few days and just be super hyped about it, but then they're gonna just leave again because. Like, it's Farlight, and Farlight is just not the same as what it was before. Like, I get it that they try to change things so they could bring more players players in. Because having such a high skill gap in a video game is not good. It scares new players, so eventually all the sweats just stay and all the newbies just leave. Um, Regardless of everything, guys, like, if you go look at Steam charts... Uh, from when Farlight first uh, released uh, on Steam to its last days of jetpacks, like the numbers were falling regardless. Like the game was just keeping 10,000 players on Steam alone. Y you guys are probably like, yeah, those are good numbers, but no, those are still not actually good numbers. I mean, it's dec it's somewhat decent, but I don't consider that good numbers. I would consider good numbers within the 30s to 40s. And when I was just saying that, just keep going down from like, 14 to 12 to 10 like every month i was like man the, this game is just people are just gonna stop they're start, starting to stop playing the main problem is not jetpacks the main problem it's it's i'll i'll be honest with you is they make too many changes very quickly their rank system just like blood strike which i plan on making a video about that just like blood blood strike man that rank system is doo-doo like it's way too easy to rank up bro it's so easy to rank up like don't put a rank system in rank system in where it's like i could just get to the highest rank in my sleep like that's why i lose motivation to play that's why a lot of competitive players don't play the actual game they only play in tournaments because they're looking for that competitive field feel and that's one of the things i mentioned in in the in the comments when i spoke to them I'm like, dude, the rank system is too easy. It's too easy. It it, 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 it blows my mind. Like, that's not going to keep players in. Like, even though even average players that like, let's say if they were only able to make it to like gold or 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 let's say like grandmaster, like, dude, they, they, they feel like they got something to work for. They're like, OK, you know what? So next season, we're going to push harder. We're going to see if we can make it a legend and and stuff like that like that keeps players in right because it keeps them invested is what i'm trying to say because it, it just makes them want to keep coming back to improve and then the higher skill level players they'll be like oh dude like i'm trying to hit the leaderboards this month i'm trying to be like top 20 top 15 top 10 and it's like people that go for that are not just playing for the hours but they're actually trying because they got to try to maintain that right to try to try to stay within that top 20 top 10 spot and those are the things that i'm trying to get at right that i'm trying to throw out like make your rank system better that's going to bring in players like that's going to make people more invested keep a casual mode like a normal pub where just like blood strike right maybe you dabble a little bots in there throw like 20 bots 40 players but i do understand at the same time we need more players for that in order to get that we need more players i would take a big hit and say remove duels keep trios and keep a casual trios and uh you know and the sw and a rank trios right but that's just me that's just me i don't know if y'all will agree with me but that's just me i think that could help the game for now and then later on if the player base grows then we could bring a little duels in right and we could you, the game could work around that so that's my opinion i have no idea what they're gonna release tomorrow i'm actually super stoked about it uh i'm happy for farlight whatever they're going for because this game has helped this channel grow right like i have nothing against the devs nothing against the devs like nothing against like against them i just don't... wait did my power go out oh hell no did my power go out okay my power did not go out i thought my power went out like my my monitors like just went off and i thought our power went out but yeah once again man i you know i respect the fact that they're trying to bring the player base back uh no hate to them like my channel like has grown because of farlight 
and i was able to make it to like an actual pro team because of our like so thank you for like i wish you the best tomorrow so i'll see i'll catch you guys tomorrow i'm just excited about this all right be safe i'm out